Welcome to the first video in a series of tips and tricks for Mac and Arcana. This video is about positioning. In this scenario, we will attempt to optimize Hank's position over the first two rounds as he makes his way to the two chests. We will show his stamina to the right. While we focus on Hank, Lorai will head north and do her own thing. This is the entry token. Explorers can be placed on top of or adjacent to the entry token. In our first example, Lorai will take the lower spot on the entry token, and Hank will take the upper spot. We will call this option A. Round 1. Lorai heads north, and we will ignore her from now on. Hank will use 4 stamina to move 4 spaces towards the chests. He is now adjacent to the first chest, but it costs 3 stamina to activate the chest, which he doesn't have. Round 2. Hank will activate the first chest using 3 stamina. He will then use 2 stamina to position himself closer to the second chest, and only has 1 stamina left. In this example, Hank achieved 1 chest and is positioned adjacent to the second chest in his first 2 rounds. Let's switch around the beginning position. Lorai is placed on the upper spot of the entry token, and Hank is placed on the lower spot. Hank is now starting one map space closer to the treasure chest. This is option B. Round 1. Hank will use 6 stamina to position himself adjacent to both chests. Round 2. Hank will use 3 stamina to open each chest using 6 stamina overall. In this example, Hank achieved 2 chests in his first 2 rounds. Let's optimize his starting position even more. Remember, explorers can be placed adjacent to the entry token. Hank will start diagonal to entry token in this example. This is option C. Round 1. Hank will take advantage of diagonal movement in this example, and use 1 stamina to move adjacent to the first chest, and activate it using 3 stamina. Hank will expend 1 more stamina to move adjacent to the second chest. He is unable to activate the chest with his 1 remaining stamina. Round 2. Hank will use 3 stamina to activate the second chest. His remaining 3 stamina will be used to activate the ability Use Inventory, which allows him to equip any items. So, this is pretty good. Hank has achieved 2 chests, and he's used the ability Use Inventory. But, there's a way that's more optimized for ending position. This is option D. Round 1. Hank will start diagonal from the entry token again, and he will use 2 stamina to move 2 diagonal spaces so that he is adjacent to both chests. He will use 3 of his remaining stamina to activate the farther chest. Hank will use the final stamina to move one space so that he is still adjacent to the first chest, but further away. Round 2. Hank will use 3 stamina to activate the second chest, and the other 3 stamina to use the ability Use Inventory. In this final example, Hank has activated both chests, the Use Inventory ability, and he has optimized his position for the next round. Let's recap. Option A. Only one chest was activated. Option B. Two chests were activated. Option C. Two chests were activated and Hank was able to use his inventory. Option D. Two chests were activated, Hank used his inventory, and he had an overall better ending position. This concludes the first video in the Tips and Tricks series for Mac and Arcana. Thanks for watching.